Hi, so I'm going through a Moho tutorial that comes with the program because I'm learning how to use it. I just, the last uh, time that I did this, uh, I did a simple shape and I animated it according to the tutorial. And I'm going to continue going forward, uh, creating a background this time. Hi, my name is Riz Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist from the Simpson Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 20 years now. And I'm here to empower you. So uh, today I'm going to be doing this and we'll see how it goes doing a, a background so let's get to it okay so new project and then it's asking me to reset all tools all right so here we go in the tools window create the draw shape go to the draw shape okay tool to activate it then select the rectangle as the option. All right, it's already selected. It's up here. From the style window, select a brown color for the fill. So I will, instead of going through and doing, I could do this and it will give me a color picker where I can create and get a brown color, but instead I am going to just pick brown. From the style window, select a brown color, okay. Drag, click and drag in the work area to create a rectangle shown, like shown below. All right, here we go. It's supposed to look like this. That's right. Pretty simple. So this is this shape is going to be the start of some rolling hills so so far this hill looks kind of flat so let's fix it pick the add point tool from the toolbar the add point tool looks like this add point okay click on the top edge of the rectangle and drag the mouse upward Look about right here, that's where it says. Right okay. Pull it up. Okay. Banshee. Alright, you should have something that now looks like the picture above. Yes, this is kind of sort of what it looks like. If this isn't what you got, select the edit undo menu, blah blah blah. Okay, let's add another curve to to the hill by clicking a little more to the right and dragging downward. Okay. So it wants me to do this. So I'm going to go over a little bit more to the right and click downward. Okie doke. Look at that. All right. To keep things organized, it's a good idea to name the layer in a Moho project. Double click this layer, the only one so far, in the layer window. And the layer window is over here. And I'm looking to see if there's any other layer window. Nope, this is the one. All right. So double click. And there's the name, so let me call it what it says. Hills. Okay, rename the layer. Press OK. All right. After creating the hill, choose Edit, Select None. We're back to that. Edit, Select None. All right. Then click the Select Shape tool in the Fill section of the Tool Panel. And click the the fill on your hill. Okay, so then let me look at this again. So it says, after creating the hill, choose and select now. Then click and select the select shape. So I'm assuming this is the select shape tool in the fill section of the tool panels. 
this one. Fill. The style window will display the setting for the fill. Style window, the settings for the fill. I'm assuming this, these are it up here. Oh no, this is the style window. Okay. Style window will select, will display the settings for the fill, its color, its line width, and color, and color and style used to display. To remove settings that you have used in a previous project, click the reset button to reset the fill color to their default setting. Reset. Okay. Set the line width to 1, then choose gradient. Okay, so set the line width to 1. And then choose gradient right here. Gradient. Ooh. From the effects menu to open the gradient dialog. When you select the gradient fill style, Noho automatically opens a gradient select dialog. The linear gradient type is automatically selected for you. Alrighty. This is very familiar. And I'm going to assume that um, this works very similar to something like Photoshop, but I'm just going to make sure because every every um, program is different so to set the left gradient color double click the left square at the bottom of the gradient assuming it's this one select the green color Ooh, This is good. Okay. Select a green color and click OK to return to the gradient dialog. Then to set the center gradient, double click in the middle at the bottom gradient bar, open the color picker and select a darker green. Okay, do, okay. do that. Darker green. Okay. And set the right gradient, double click. Double click the right square at the bottom of that one and to open the color picker and select a brown color, you click OK. So it should look something like that, and mine does. Okay. To see the gradient preview, oh, I'm supposed to. Okay. To see the gradient preview more easily, click the hill to select the fill. Click the hill like this. Okay, so I am doing something wrong here. Oh, okay, select the brown color and click OK to return to the gradient dialog. Okay, so I have to press OK. So is it working? Did I do it? I don't see any change here. You see the gradient? Okay, so 
When your colors are selected, the gradient setting should appear as shown below. Okay, so yeah, so I did it. To see the gradient preview more easily, click outside the hill to deselect the fill. You'll notice a line with a filled circle. So did I mess up? I think I messed up. What happened to the gradient? Oh no, I wasn't supposed to press click. I wasn't supposed to play. What just happened? Where's my gradient? Just okay. Where'd it go? Can I redo it? I messed up. How do I get back to my... Hey! Alright, so here we are. You'll notice a line with a filled circle at the end. Which represents the start color of the gradient. The empty circle at the other end represents the end color of the gradient. Brown is our example. You can adjust the position of these indicators to control the blending and direction of a gradient. So this is what it's supposed to be, but I don't seem to be getting that. Oh, something just, what happened? Oh. oh, was I supposed to do this in the fill? They should have told me that. Did I miss that? Okay, so let's try this again. So I'm supposed to do this on the rigging thing. Reset. One. Gradient. Green. green brown see this hey okay and deselect and then this is uh, I see and then this controls the fill. Okay, so that's really cool, except this tutorial, I must have misread or something, because I totally, I totally messed me up. Okay, I want to make sure that I read that right. After creating, after creating the hills, choose Edit Select None to deselect any selected points. Then click the Select Shape tool in the Fill section of the Tool Panel and click the, the Fill on your hills. Ah, see? I didn't read that bit. In our example, the gradient starts with brown at the bottom and then an empty circle and then ends with a green on the top of the hill. The angle tilts slightly towards the left as shown below. Choose the Save As command from the menu and save the project under the name Tutorial 1.2. So I'm going to do that because apparently... So that was how to create gradients and shapes and move uh, flat graphic shapes around. So far, um, it's interesting. So let's keep on moving. So next time, I, the tutorial says drawing complex shapes. So, and it's building on what we've already got. 
So we'll be doing that in the next tutorial. If this video is helpful in any way, I encourage you to go over to my Patreon and support me there. I, I do uh, tutorials there, but uh, depending on your tier, I also do one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. Uh, right now, the coaching slots seem to be full, but I could put you on a waiting list for when the slots are open, then you can uh, come in and then I, you can have a one-on-one -on -one and I can teach you how to further your and improve your drawings. You also get PSD files and you get high-res JPEGs of all the artwork that I do. You also get uh, early access to all the videos that I produce. You get uh, exclusive videos that I produce and coming soon you're going, uh, depending on your tier, you're going to get full access to um, course videos that I'm going to be producing. So uh, I highly, highly encourage you to support me on Patreon. Uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.